What up, everybody? Welcome back to the corner. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I don't know if you heard word on the street. Is. Let me tell y'all what it is. Okay, so Candace's Corner has officially hit 4,000 thousand watch hours. Okay, what does that mean? Let me tell you what it means. What it means is I hit the first qualification for YouTube to partner with me. Mm. We got to get to 1K and then YouTube will partner with me. And what that means is... Your girl can do YouTube full time because this channel is only gonna grow. We're gonna have millions and millions of subscribers, okay, and views. And I'm gonna just be doing this full time along with other things and being on TV and going to the world. It's getting ready to happen. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I wanted to show my appreciation to y'all for sitting in my corner. Like, from the people who sat with me from day one to the people who just got here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sitting in my corner. So, because I wanted to thank y'all, I figured I'd give y'all a story time. Yes. It's story time! Yay! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, grab your cups. Yo tea, yo popcorn, come sit with me. Let's get to the story, shall we? Hello, everybody. Welcome to my corner. Welcome to my corner. Let's have a talk now. From Miami to California. Yeah. Check your girl out. I'm going to give it to you straight up. That's right. That's right. Keeping it real. No things inside. Welcome to my corner, y'all. Okay, so this was about nine years ago. Um, I was in college, and uh, I was I was going to say dating this man, but technically we ain't got no kids together, and I feel like any ex that I don't ever date it and we didn't have kids, you technically not my ex. So I had a friend, a friend back in the day. Um, me and him were friends, and um, I had... Okay, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I uh, suck with picking friends. Like, I pick the most clingiest people, the most neediest people sometimes. And so, back in the day, I didn't have no discernment. And I had become friends with this girl. Her name is going to be Ashley because she watches. Anyway, so, uh, Ashley and I were friends. But Ashley was low-key, not obsessed. But, okay, she was obsessed with me a little bit. Um, she was kind of on my breast really hard as far as, like, I was breastfeeding. I had no kids. She was really clingy. And the man I was talking to, ooh, the little boy, because he definitely was a man, the dude at the time I was talking to, he didn't really care for her. And, you know, um, I'm going to just tell you how I lost my man because of my homegirl. Stupid. Um, so, basically, what happened was um, she and I were friends. Well, we, we was cool since freshman and freshman year. Anyway, so my sweet mate... Had this guy that she knew from class. We met, da da da, da We clicked. But he also was talking, he started talking to my sweet mate. And so, like, we kind of left it alone. But somehow he ended up talking to me. And my life was, that's the day my life turned out hit terrible. That's the day I had to get delivered. Okay. Anyway, so me and him started talking. And we were pursuing each other. Um, I wanted to be married. I thought he wanted to be married. And then he cheated on me. And so maybe not. <laughs> maybe he just didn't want to marry me. Anyway, so... Um, I wanted to be married, so we were considering, like, this relationship, and, and we were basically, like, doing this whole, like, relationship thing. Remind me to tell y'all about the story of me, like, shacking up and living in sin, as the saints would say. I ain't tell it yet, because my mom would be watching. She was like, some stuff you ain't got to tell. But I'm like, it's his testimony, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so me and him was basically together, and um, he didn't care for any of my friends. Any of them. He didn't, he didn't care for any of them. Because, you know, my friends, um, my, my real friends, they're very protective over me. They don't play about me, period. Um, you're not going to mess over me. You're not going to talk down to me. You're not going to play with my heart. My friends do not play about me, okay? Except for this friend. She played about me. She just, she was a lot, okay? Anyway, so I was dating this guy, and uh, we decided that we were going to go on a couple's date. I, 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 okay. We we're gonna go on a double a double date. So we went on this double date, right? And everything was good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we holding hands, we enjoying um each other's company, laughing, kiki and rah-rah, da 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 da. Somehow the date went to hell in a handbasket, okay? Somehow the double date turned into the worst experience I've ever it was like watching Ike and Tina go at it. Like 
I said, oh my God, like, please don't hit her. Lord Jesus, I, please don't hit this girl. So like, they were arguing and it's like, I hate you. I hate you too. And I'm just like, well, this is some ghetto stuff. Babe, watch out, babe. Babe, we don't argue over here. Our relationship is holiness. So they're going back and forth. They're arguing. And so they end up breaking up. Okay, so they end up breaking up. And uh, me and my man just sitting there like, well, we ain't finna break up because we good over here. Like, that's between them and the good Lord. Like, whatever going on between you and your relationship, we gonna pray for y'all over there. But me and my man, we good. So they're arguing. He's like, you know what? I ain't gotta take this. I'm out. I'm done with you. She start crying. Okay, first of all, I've never cried over a man. So I didn't really know what to do. I was like, oh, sis, your face wet. Ooh, sis, your eyeballs leaking. Like, baby, is you all right? And she's like, I really love him. I said, girl, did you? My man looking at me like, Candace. I said, what? I'm just asking. Like, she really loved him. Clearly, he don't love her back because he would never embarrass her like this. So she's like, I really loved him. Like, I was riding for him. I wanted to be with him forever. I was like, ooh, sis, this is some ghetto stuff. Ooh, this is just ghetto, honey, ghetto. So they ended up like separating so like he went one way and my man followed him like a fool and i went one way with her so you know i'm trying to console her and i'm just like you know sis like sometimes relationships are hard and like sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet it's just stupid anyway so they end up arguing he ends up storming off and like the guy says i need a break i, I need to cool down right and so my man comes back and we hanging out in my my space and so she there but we in my space. She not in my room. You know, we, we kicking it or whatever. So, you know, it's cuffing season, ladies and gentlemen. So, of course, I was cuffed. So, we cuddling. We talking. Kiki and yaya. Y'all, I get a knock on the door. It's like, I look at him. He look at me. I said, okay, well, we, we, we both in here. So, we not expecting no company. Once again, the knock gets louder. Y'all, it's her outside my door. She outside my door crying oceans and streams. She's like, Candace, I just really need to talk. And I just, I'm going through a lot. I'm looking at her like, girl, my man is here. You you, you really want to fall to pieces right now, sis, while my man is here? You know I'm be seeing my man like that. Y'all know he be busy. You really about to interrupt my boo time because you broke up with your man. Probably because your smart man. Sis, so she comes in my room she crawls up in the middle of me and him we land okay no it wasn't holy but we land there you know what i'm saying we won't have a sex we were just laying there and uh she climbs up in the middle of us and like just begins to sob and he is looking at me like and i'm looking at him like Sir, what do you want me to do? Like, do, do you want me to tell her get out so you can hold me and caress my head? What you want me to do? I'm going to be a bad friend if I let her cry. And and he looking at her like, Candace, he looking at me like, Candace, I got to go. Now, no lie. He was a very busy dude. Um, He was always on the go. So, like, when I got to spend time with him, it was very special. Even though he cheated on me. We not talking about that today. Anyway, so... He was like, I gotta go. And so I'm like, okay, well, what do you want me to do? Like, do you, do you want me to like not console her or, or do you want me to tell her to get out? Like, cause at this point I really don't know what to do. I'm stressed. I'm a bad friend if I don't console my friend in the middle of a breakup, but I'm also a bad girlfriend if like my man wanna spend time with me, but my friend crying, my man, my friend, my man, my, which one do you choose? So I just stood there. I was like, babe, uh you she just broke up with her man and i know you want to spend time with me and he looking at me like girl you better you better and i'm like okay so anyways she's crying her eyes out she's like i really love him i'm like yes sis we know so finally i get her to calm down and she leaves but y'all she don't leave until like two hours later so by this time you have now upset my man and so now we gotta argue okay so she leaves her man come back and he like, I'm sorry, babe. And, and they get back together. I can't stand that type of relationship. Y'all be like, I hate you, I hate you. Da, 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 da. And then two minutes later, I was just hungry, babe. I'm sorry. What? You interrupted my date and my good time because you and your man couldn't get together. So now me and my man arguing. So he closed the door. He's like, Candace, I can't do this no more. I said, wait, you can't do what? Like, you can't do the, you can't do what? He was like, you're always going to pick your friends over me. And she came before me. And so at this point, I just feel like you should be with them. Wait, what? Wait, hold on, what? 
Wait, what? So you're telling me because I chose to help this little needy girl, you don't want to be in a relationship with me? That should make you want to be in a relationship with me even more because I'm caring. I mean, I care about your heart. I would do the same thing for you. He's like, no, you're always choosing your friends over me. You always, you're always letting them come in between us. So we start arguing. And I mean, when we argue, I don't know about y'all, but look, okay, look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. That Okay, so this happened when I was younger. I've matured a lot. But let me tell y'all something. Um, if I'm arguing with you, you better let me argue. So like... I don't like when people cut me off. Like, so I'm talking to him, trying to explain my point of view. And he's like, nah, we not about to do this. Like I said, what I said, it's over. I said, it's over. Ah, y'all gonna break up with me, break my heart, and then y'all argue with me? No, you gotta choose one. Either you gonna break up with me, but at least let me argue, or you gonna let me argue and keep me, but you not gonna break up with me, break my heart, and not let me argue. That's not, no, that, no, no. So he was like, no, we're not arguing about it. Like, it's over. It's done. I was like, for real? You really gonna break up with me because I chose my friend? He was like, yeah, Candace. So now at this point, I'm upset. I start, I don't know about y'all, but when I get mad, I just start clapping. So I turned into this ghetto hood rat. I was like, first of all, first of all. And he was just like, oh, no, we're definitely not doing that. So at this point, I'm low-key intrigued by him because he won't argue me i don't know about y'all but something about that make me quiver i was like okay so he don't want to argue okay cool so he was like no we're not doing it like it's over it's done so he walks out of the door y'all do y'all know that i didn't see this man for three days three whole days he wouldn't answer my text he wouldn't answer my calls i was subtweeting him on twitter like one of my followers wasn't responding facebook like like i was even sending smoke signals to heaven like god I know I messed up, okay? I know I should have listened to the good man you sent me, but can you send it back, Lord, please? Like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do right. Like, Lord, please give me my man back. He he was not responding to my calls. We was done. We was over. We broke up. Like, he was done. So, for three whole days, like, we, we broke up. So, three days was over. He comes back, and he's like, Candace, I'm not going to compete for a spot in your life. Either I'm gonna be your man or we not gonna be together. Well, guys, I'm single, so what did I tell y'all? <laughs> so, moral of the story is sometimes, but the crazy thing is like, he said that she was like an opportunist and she, he said that she wasn't a good fit for me as a friend and he, and he was right. Moral of the story is don't be stupid like me. Sometimes, ladies, you gotta choose your man. Like sometimes, you know, there's girl time and there's man time. You gotta have that balance, you know what I'm saying? But don't be like me and let your friends consume your life and then you be manless. Because look at them now. They all got men and I'm stuck looking stupid. Um, so anyways, I hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> God bless him, though. For real, for real. Like, for real. Bless him. Like, God really bless him, Lord. Because, you know, I was a lot back then. You know what I'm saying? Now I got it together and he want me back. But I said, nope. Let me tell you something. Once you upgrade your mindset, the price go up. So he can't afford me now, baby. He should have He should have wiped me when he had me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all enjoyed that story time. We'll be back in the corner next week. And uh, we're going to be monetized soon. So I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Peace.